So hey, I'm Paul uh, with Virginia Cooperative Extension, and here I am with Pearson with Agriberry. Uh, so tell us, like, I mean, your your company has grown. I've mm -hmm. seen you grown. Mm -hmm. So uh, what do you see like for 2018 and beyond for berry growers and even consumers eating berries in Virginia? Um, I think that. As I mentioned during this conference here at Virginia State University, the Berry Conference, this is our 10th annual one. Dr. Rafi has done a great job organizing this event. Um, but as I said earlier, I think that health consciousness is really going up. I think consumers are interested in products that are both ethical and healthy for them. And being able to frame your product in a way that your consumer can understand that you are providing a product that fills both of those categories is something that's going to become more and more important um, as more millennials and the, whatever we're calling the generation underneath us, whether it's Gen Z or Gen Delta, whatever that is, I think that's going to be a big motivator in consumer trends for those generations. So um, being able to position your product as something that fulfills a, a health message and fulfills a, a ecologically friendly message. Um, something that allows those consumers to feel that they're making an ethical decision with purchasing your product is going to become more and more important. So being able to align your farm practices with that. Um, and, and that leads into a bigger conversation about organic, conventional, sustainable, integrated pest management, informing your consumer about what you're doing um, and why what you're doing is beneficial overall is going to be important because everyone's going to have an opinion coming into the market. Um, so giving your consumer good information for what you're doing is going to be helpful. Yeah. And uh, what would you say the review of uh, today's Berry and Marketing Conference at Virginia State University? Um, as far as a review, um, it's excellent. It's always jam-packed full of content, and I know that's why sometimes it can struggle with its timing a little bit, because everyone here has so much good information to share with everyone else, and there's great back and forth with questions. Um, I, I think that if I was offering a, a review of this conference, um, Content-wise is a 10 out of 10. It's excellent. You run the full spectrum of local perspective, grower perspective, researcher perspective, national perspective, both in terms of scope and different aspects of the industry. There's representation all over the place. Um, I think that it could maybe benefit with one or two more 10 minute breaks here or there, um, but that's always gonna be a struggle when you're bringing in national speakers and you wanna get everybody all in one spot for one day. You gotta get your information out to folks. So I know it's a balancing act, but I, I think that the quality content is really worthwhile here at this conference. Great, and uh, would you say, are you still looking for more berry uh, growers for your company? Um, so our company, Agriberry, um, I wouldn't say we're necessarily looking for more berry growers to come on with us, but my family's mentality and my mentality about berry growing is an all ships rises one. So we want to see more growers out in the industry. We want to see more people in the farmer's markets. We want to see more berries on the shelf because if we get more awareness to our consumers about how good berries are and how good they are for them, then that's going to drive the consumer to buy more fruit from more people. And accessibility is a big part of that, making sure that the consumer can get access to good fruit that's not incredibly expensive and is accessible year round. There's a part of the market that fills all of those pieces of the puzzle. Um, so we're just really excited to see more people eating more berries and more people growing more berries. And uh, um, why don't you, the last thing, just talk about how you give opportunities to um, people in your local area to like, get jobs with high school students and college students. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we have sort of a unique labor force at Agriberry. We try to employ as many young people as possible. I have a background in education as well as growing up on a family farm. I have a master's degree um, in ed secondary education. And I worked with our family in trying to find uh, local high school and college kids. We actually, um, this farm started up on a grant to create those opportunities for young people and that was a really great boon to us to start off but um, it was a grant written so that young people could both develop work ethic and be exposed to agriculture and both of those things are some things that especially five years ago and a bit today as well there is not always a great opportunity for young people to find um, this was going on right on the you know when the recession hit 
there were not a lot of jobs for 16, 17 year old because there weren't a lot of jobs around. People were kind of struggling. So um, having a place for a young person to work in a seasonal business, um, so they're all working over the summer when they're not in school, and it didn't make a lot of sense to offer these jobs to um, you know adults that needed year-round income because we really only needed the help for the three months out of the year when we were in big production. Um, so it seemed like a great fit. The young people are getting agricultural experience, they're getting exposure to where their food comes from, and they're getting a little bit of money in their pocket. Um, they're learning financial skills, they're learning how to save money for college, save money for gas. Um, so it's a really great win-win. You just need to make sure that you have a good management system in place to get these folks trained. A 14-year-old is not going to have the base skills that someone who's been doing this job for 30 years has. So you got to make sure that you have good systems in place to get these young folks trained so that they can be a productive part of your workforce and not just a part of your workforce. Well, there you have it. At, uh, for Virginia Cooperative Extension, Virginia State University, Agri Berry, and Farmer Paul here. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Paul. Have a great one. Thanks.